have here today is a Gibson Hummingbird Vintage Square Shoulder Dreadnought given the Royal Treatment VOS model in a, I would say like a smoky heritage sunburst finish. It, it's really a darker sunburst. It's kind of, it's, it's really interesting. Yeah, usually you see them, uh, the cherry is really kind of bold and this one has more of a washed out look like um, like a vintage guitar would. Yep. So, based I think on what would be like an early hummingbird, wider nut width, um, slimmer neck profile, but really lightweight. A really lightweight guitar for, for being a, a square shoulder. Usually the ones that we get have a little bit of heftiness to them, but this one is super lightweight and really resonant. So, so you see a lot of these guitars, yet you picked this one out of the bunch and just said, this one is stunning. So I just walked in this morning and I saw it on the counter and it just caught my eye. I mean, this was a guitar that was ordered brand new for the shop yep. from Gibson, from uh, Gibson, Montana. Uh, looks like we just got a bunch of new acoustics in and this one just happened to be one of the ones that the guys were was uh, you know unboxing yesterday and I got in early this morning and I just happened to see it on the counter and I couldn't resist I, I just picked it up and strummed it and was just wowed by the sound it's it's the lightest Gibson acoustic I have ever picked up truly is I mean for its size for a dreadnought you'd think it, it would be mm -hmm. a little heavier but gosh it's got to be like five pounds maybe if, yeah, that. if that it's really lightweight mm -hmm. um, and I love the the treatment that they gave it, it doesn't have that really bright, thick lacquer kind of shine to it. It, it has a more, it's, it's a little duller. Yeah. Like you were saying, a little smokier. Smokier, and you can also see, they, I think they used a little bit less finish so that you can see some of the graininess of the wood. And I think that what yeah. that does is that makes the guitar respond better sonically. Well, it, you know how they were doing the VOS treatment on the R9s and ROs, and this is definitely that same type of VOS, vintage original spec. Yeah. So it kind of has that, not relic, um, Gibson doesn't relic them like, like you know, Fender has their, their relic guitars in their custom shop. This is just a very, like a mellow aging to it, mm -hmm. um, where the buttons, again, they, they're not that really bold, bright, mint green. They're a little softer. It looks like the, the nickel has aged a little bit, but you know they don't rust it out. There's no checking in the finish. They don't do things like that. They just give it a like a softness or a mellowness to it. Yeah. Could you play a little bit? Yeah. really bright got a great low end to it too yeah it's beautiful yeah, really it's beautiful, beautiful. I love the humming I've always loved a hummingbird motif and this is the one where you can you can still feel you know the, the this is the old style where you can feel the um, the texture of the uh, uh, the motif the, yeah. the, the, the hummingbird the flowers yeah. uh, it's a cool guitar all in all it's a yeah. great guitar absolutely all right thanks thank you